Okay, you're going to need to make uh, the side template where you can get the measurements from the plans. And we're going to attach that to the side. And this template will uh, give us the proper shape for the back so that when we bend the back, uh, it will line up with the edge of the sides. Now you want to line this up on that center line, that joint between the two sides. And I'm just going to tape it in place. And use a pretty low tack uh, like painter's tape that won't pull any of the grain on your guitar. Make sure you stay lined up on that center line and then continue around so you've got it all nicely uh, taped in place. And now I'm going to just take a regular pencil, uh, whatever you want to mark this side with. I'm just going to trace out this outline. Make sure your template stays uh, nice and flush with the side of the guitar. And now if you've measured everything correctly, the top of this template will just meet the bottom of the neck. They should line up. Then I'm going to remove the uh, template. And you can see the line that I have drawn here and how it meets the bottom of the neck there. And just uh, curves on around. And I'll do the same for this side. Now you can see... Uh, We've got our line with the neck, that line around from the cutaway, and make sure you've got a, a good transition here along the bottom where the two templates met. Then I just take a regular coping saw, and be very careful that you don't crack uh, the side. But just go along that line and uh, saw off the excess. And you don't have to be exactly on the line. Leave a little excess. Especially around the waist and some of these larger parts. Be very careful you don't crack the sides. They're really thin. And you can see some of the excess I left here. And then I'm just going to take a real small hand plane and smooth everything down to that pencil line. And then we'll move on to the back.